Welcome to Electra Online. By now you're beginning to see, I believe, the general procedure that you follow. If you give an equation that only contains two variables, such as a parabola, y equals x squared, so we have a parabola that's now located in the xy plane, and therefore if we know that we're in three dimensions, you could then say, well, since z was not specified, z can have any value, so then you project that into the z direction, both in the positive and negative z direction, which basically then gives you what we call a parabolic shape or parabolic surface that goes infinitely into the z direction, positive or negative, and the cross section parallel to the xy plane then gives you a parabola in the xy plane defined by the equation, in this case y equals x squared. So again, we define the equation in the xy plane and then we project it into the z direction and that's then one way to simply set up a parabolic surface in 3D. Again, this is just a simplistic view of a parabolic surface. Of course, it can be located or angled in different directions and then the equation becomes quite different, but we'll get there in a later video. Right now, we just want to understand the simple formatting of, uh, of surfaces in three dimensions and the parabolic surface is one of them. 